Hi guys, it's Naomi from uh, the Belgian Book Note here. I'm here with a new video. It's uh, my magical TBR. It's Build Decide what I'll be reading for July. Um, there are a few to send turns and a few things I want to say about it in advance. Um, it will be Harry Potter related, but that does not mean I actually support the author in all areas of whatever she has been saying every and everything. I just love, love, love the story. It's been so dear to my heart ever since I was a little kid. So yeah, that's hence why I decided to actually make a TBR game in the process that is slightly Harry Potter based. Um, as you can tell, I'm a Slytherin, but I'm actually a Slytherin Claw. Because Pottermore has actually been sorting me as often in Syrian as in Ravenclaw and then I decided to do this test where uh, you can see all the percentages of how much percent you actually belong in a certain house and funny enough Ravenclaw and Syrian came up as equal so I think I would have the advantage of choosing where I go regardless of me wanting to be in a certain house so yeah i resonate with slytherin a little more but at the very beginning it was ravenclaw hence the blue line and not the green line but i've got my slytherin tie on once again it is for the love of the story and not to support the author um besides that i just want to apologize as well i'm like all natural i'm not feeling very well my uh, voice is rather sore at the moment so yeah but let's dive into my tbr and let's hope we can do it hey guys now to the board uh you can still see it's the same template i used last time um it's still by the wild sasha um i've got my little ring still over here where i'm moving across the board with but what has actually changed is that i actually put the colors to harry potter house colors so the blue one will be Ravenclaw, the red one will be Gryffindor, the yellowish orangey one will be Hufflepuff and the green one you can see over here will be Slytherin. What will happen on the fifth one is that I actually will roll the dice. Everything from one to three will be Slytherin, from four to six will be Gryffindor, from seven to nine will be Ravenclaw and from 10 to 12 will be Hufflepuff and then I'll be taking a prompt from those. The prompts are laying over here, I've got my dice over here. So yeah, we'll see how that goes and we'll start rolling at how it goes. You can also see the blank ones, that will be a wild card and then I can choose whatever I want to read. I'll be doing four rolls each month because that's what actually will be achievable for me. Um, last month I haven't, I've hardly read at all. And I don't want to get into reading slump again. I'm actually trying to get out of it. So yeah, that's why we're doing four rolls. But if I get a double, I'll have to add another roll. But I can't go for further than the finished one. So yeah, let's dive right in. Can you see it? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're starting off with a Slytherin prompt. So then we'll see over here. Read a book with a likable enemy. Hmm. We'll be thinking about that one. Our very first prompt. Uh, read a book with a likable enemy. Wants to focus again. I just showed you guys, so I'm so sorry if it doesn't. Oh, you can read better like this. Read a book with a likable enemy. Um, a Reaper at the Gates. It actually is the third book in the Emma in the Asher series. I absolutely loved the first two books. Um, the first, uh, first one more than the second one. The second one was a little draggy, but otherwise nice. Um. This book has got two enemies, sort of, and I've actually grown to really, really like them. I'll finish this read because I've already started it, but I will tell you but a little something that might intrigue you to actually continue reading. So, it says, Beyond the martial empire and within it, the threat of war looms ever larger. Yeah, I really want to pick up this book right now. Okay, off to the next prompt. Desk. Um, we'll prep the dice again. 
and wall again and I'll try to do it on the board now without moving my pin. So yeah, and we'll see what prompt we're getting. Roll number two. Six. Six. That is a red one. That means we'll go by Gryffindor, which is over there. Gryffindor, what does it say? Read a book with red on the cover. Hmm, we'll see what we can find for that one. For our next prompt, read a book with red on the cover. I've chosen for What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard, and now I realize that I haven't mentioned the author's name of uh, A Reaper at the Gate, that's Savage here. But now back to this one. Uh, what I Lost is actually a very nice and intriguing book, but I'll read what's on the blurb over there, so you can see it as well. What a 16-year-old Elizabeth has lost so far 40 pounds, 14 sizes and a boyfriend and her peace of mind. As a result, she's finally a size zero. She is also the newest resident of Wallingfield, a treatment center for girls like her, girls with eating disorders. Elizabeth is determined to endure the program so she can go back home, where she plans to start restricting her food intake again. She's pretty sure her mom, who has her own size zero obsession, Needs treatment as much as she does, maybe even more. Then Elizabeth begins receiving mysterious packages every day from her ex-boyfriends, a secret admirer, or someone playing a cool trick. This eloquent debut novel rings with authenticity, as it follows Elizabeth's journey to taking an active role in her recovery, hoping to get back all that she lost. This one's got a bit, and it's got clearly red on the cover. And inside is a nice cute teal color, but here it's also very, very red. So yeah, I'm counting this one for our second roll. Now that we have chosen a book for that one, we'll roll again for the third time. Six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going for a Slytherin prompt. I can grab just one. Let's see. Okay, I've had a Kadavra. Read a book where a main character dies. I think this will be a good one for my reading plans this month. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. For our third role uh, it is the prompt we got about a driver read a book where a main character dies I don't know with this one it's the fourth one in an Ember in the Ashes series and the conclusion of the series by Sabato here I have no idea if there actually is a main character dying but I've got such a feeling there will there are too many loving characters and it would just be weird if none of them dies Yet again, it is YA, so yeah, we'll see about that. Hopefully it does. I won't be telling much more about this book, as it will be so very spoilery. The first one is An Ember in the Edges, and I really, really highly recommend that book. It is fantastic. On to the fourth and final roll. I one, two, three, four, five. This is a blue one. That means I'm going for Ravenclaw. Does he say he wants to focus? Both. Yes, read a book based off mythology. Hmm. I think I can do something with that. For our fourth and final role and prompt, read a book based off mythology. Yeah. Do I really have to tell you what the Song of Achilles is about by Madeline Miller? Uh, I don't think I have to. Um, it's such a very well-known overall story, uh, it's been put to uh, TV as well, so very often, for example the film Troy, there's so many books about it, so yeah, it's a very 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 hard book, pretty much everywhere, on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, anywhere, so yeah, I'm happy to finally be reading this book and see if it will actually break my heart as it breaks so many other people's hearts. 
guys that's where we are to no more rolls left so uh we'll see how that goes um as i haven't reached the end i'm thinking about putting in a reward system as i'm a diehard slytherin i'm thinking about counting up 10 points for 10 times i'm getting slytherin as a prompt therefore um I'm thinking about if I get 10 points, I can get myself a book that's out of a buddy read or out of um, a readathon, just so that I can reward myself buying a book because I've bought too many lately and I want to get myself onto a book buying man, and that's how I want to actually reward myself. If I don't get to finish my TBR, I'm not go necessarily going to punish myself. Um, but if I do, I might actually take one of the Slytherin prompts off of the list of 10 just to, just to get me there. But I won't be doing that for every single book I'm not finishing. So yeah, those were all the prompts for now. Um, if you have found any more ideas to put in as prompts, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And yeah, we'll see what kind of books we've got now. And here we are again. Now that we have gone through this little game and with a little bit of explanations, I'm so happy to be here with this beautiful stack of books underneath my arm. Here they are. These are the ones I will be reading for this month of July. Uh, just because I've been in a reading slump, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. There are only two books I really, really, really want to get to this month, and that's A Reaper at the Gates and The Sky Before the Storm. Beyond the Storm, sorry, my Sabbath here, as I will be going on a holiday probably in August for quite some time. So yeah, I'm gonna try to vlog it maybe. I'm also thinking about doing another vlog as I'm trying to work on my health. So who knows, I might give you actually a health update as you don't really know me in that regard at all. Um, I'm so sorry for looking so incredibly tired and sounding so weird throughout the entire video. But besides that, I hope you had a nice time. Feel free to put any prompts, like I've mentioned so often before already, to put them in the comments down below. They're all welcome. I will mention it. Whoever has given me any new prompts. So yeah, and thanks again to the Wild Sasha so, so much for letting me and allowing me to use her templates. She's amazing and yeah, she's already very dear to my heart, even though we've only known each other through the booktube community. But I support her through and through. Um, she's going through quite some pain at the moment, so I'm truly hoping she'll be fine soon. And yeah, that's about it guys for today's video. So I hope to see you soon and thank you for joining in. Bye!